Hi everyone, this is Brian, your Honda Connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh. Today I have a 2019 Honda Ridgeline here with me. That's correct, a 2019 model. Uh, uncharacteristically, Honda has come out with the 2019 Ridgeline very early in the calendar year. Usually they do stick primarily to the calendar year or very close to it, um, but they have come out with this one quite early. We'll take an exterior look at the vehicle here. Cosmetically, there aren't really any changes uh, to the 2019. Uh, the only major changes are for the RTL and RTLT models. They now have the power sliding rear window and moonroof. Last year, you had to go up to the RTLE or the black edition to get the moonroof or the power sliding rear window, but not so anymore. You can get those two nice features on the RTL and the RTLT now. Let's take a look under the hood. It does still have the uh, 3.5 liter V6 with 280 horsepower. It is direct injected and made it to a six speed automatic transmission. The all wheel drive models do come standard with the uh, automatic transmission cooler, the hitch, and the seven pin wiring harness, and are rated to tow 5,000 pounds. Give you a look at the wheels that come on the RTL model here. They are 18 inch wheels. Tire size is actually 245-60R18. Disc brakes front and rear, of course. And if you've never looked at a Ridgeline before, the trunk, in bed trunk and the bed itself are some of the more unique features about this vehicle. You do have a dual action tailgate, so it actually swings open to the side like so, so that you don't have to lean over it to gain access to the in bed trunk, which opens up right here. It does lock and it is watertight. Give you a good view inside the trunk there, quite a bit of room. It does have a drain plug, which you could actually uh, use this as a cooler and then drain all the water out when you're done there. The spare tire and tools are all protected from the uh, weather and environment. They're not underneath the truck like they are in most uh, trucks. It's all protected in here. You just have two little wing nuts right there and right there that you unscrew. And then this whole tray here would slide out and then sits on these lips right here. The in-bed lights do come on automatically when you open the trunk. And you do have lots of tie downs throughout the bed as well. Two in each corner basically, front and rear. Now the uh, in-bed material here uh, is a composite, scratch resistant. It is black all the way through now. So if you do get a scratch, it's not gonna show up as a big white line. Uh, still looks good. You don't have to worry about getting any kind of aftermarket spray in bed liner, drop in bed liner, or anything like that. Now the release for the handle um, is right under here. It says release right here um, to indicate where to grab to swing open that dual action tailgate. It does have a backup camera right here. And of course, the tailgate opens like a normal pickup truck as well. And that is the sliding rear window right in there. That middle square piece slides to the side. That's that new feature on the RTL and RTLT for 2019. We do have the hitch and seven pin wiring harness right here. And again, we do have a tow rating of 5,000 pounds, maximum trailer weight. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker here. Hopefully we can see it through this tinted glass. Looks like maybe not too much, but if you can, again, 2019 RTL model. Take a look in the rear seat here. Pretty roomy, pretty comfortable for a pickup truck. Um, as a matter of fact, one thing that people really like about the Ridgeline is its ride quality. It doesn't ride like a typical pickup truck. There's no leaf springs in the back. Very smooth, comfortable ride. Um, steering is very easy, very maneuverable for a pickup truck. And in the back seat here, we do have heat and AC vents, armrest and cup holders that fold down right here from the middle. And again, we got that power sliding rear window there. 
These rear seats do fold up in a 60-40 split. Just grab this handle right here until it clicks and locks into place up there. And other than the track that the leg right here fits into, it's pretty much flat back here. So you do have a lot of usable under seat storage. Then to lower the seat back down, just pull the handle again, locks into place like so. Now most of the new Hondas are coming with the capless fuel filler system. That is also the case with the Ridgeline. You've got the fuel filler door button right here. Just push and that opens up. Again, capless fuel filler. They do have this shroud that goes over the uh, fuel filler neck now um, to help prevent any moisture from getting on this outer flap here and freezing that closed in the colder climates. Um, that's something the first year when they came out they didn't have and they've learned their lesson and are adding that on now. And again, similar to other Hondas, we do have the smart key entry system where on the door handle, if you touch the inside of the handle and you have the key on you, it will unlock the vehicle. Touch this rubber button right here, that locks the vehicle. Let's take a look inside. Again, on the RTL, we do have the power seat, the leather heated seats. Let's hop in and take a look at the dash. So digital speedometer, then we've got the display screen underneath where we can have our trip A, trip B, uh, fuel mileage, calculations, tire pressures, uh, the terrain management information comes up. We have a button right down here we can push to change the terrain mode we're in and that affects the way the vehicle stability assist and the all wheel drive operate. So if you push that button, brings up the menu and then just keep pushing it to cycle through the snow, mud, and sand mode. Then if we pause on that. It will select the one we pause on, and then it says right down there, now we're in sand mode. So that changes the way the all-wheel drive distributes the power and the way the vehicle stability assist works. Let's go ahead and put it back into normal mode. And there you go. So it is all-wheel drive. It's primarily going to send most of the power to the front tires most of the time. Um, it can change the power distribution front to rear and then left to right on the rear axle as needed depending on the road conditions. So on the steering wheel here, we have our audio controls on the left, cruise control on the right, down low on the right here, um, these arrows, up and down arrows and reset button will cycle through the display screen information underneath the speedometer there. And then our Bluetooth controls on the left side of the wheel. We have the non touch screen on the RTL models and below. So you do still have to go to the RTLT, RTLE, and Black Edition to get the touchscreen, the Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and the rest of the goodies that come with that touchscreen. But again, we do have Bluetooth and backup camera standard on all models. So let's go ahead and shift it into reverse and I'll show you what that backup camera looks like. So we have the three views and in the bottom left corner it shows what view we're in. Right now we are in the wide view. So, for example, we can see the back end of this gray Civic right here to our left. And that car is that gray Civic right there. So that's how much of a wide field of vision, wide angle you have. You can see 180 degrees off the back bumper. Um, and then this black car over here is that one right there. So that's probably the most useful view if you're parked in between two big vehicles in a parking lot. You can really see if there's traffic coming all the way across or not. And you can actually see your back bumper at the bottom of the screen there. And then this outer yellow rectangle there, it's kind of your safe zone as you're backing up. If there's an object outside of that, you're not going to hit it. If there's an object inside of that, you are going to hit it as you're backing up if you get too close. Push the center of this knob right here and that will change the camera angle. So now we notice we can't see those other two cars to the side anymore, but we can see farther straight back. You can still see our back bumper at the bottom of the screen. Push the button one more time. Now we're looking straight from the top down, which would come in very handy if you were hooking up a trailer. You'd be able to see the ball um, right there and really help line it up pretty much on your own, I would think. And then back to the wide view again. So on the RTL here, we do have three climate zones, driver, passenger, and rear with automatic setting, heated side mirrors, and the heated seats, high and low for both front seats. We do have power outlet and USB port there and in the center console another power outlet and USB in there as well. 
So let's give you a quick look at the brochure here and the breakdown of the different models. Again, the RT is the base model. It is only available in rear wheel drive or two wheel drive, excuse me. And the different models here, the Sport, the RTL, which is the one we are in right now, and RTLT, RTLE, and Black Edition would be the very top model. All right, this is Brian, your Honda Connection from Della Honda in Plattsburgh. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.